BG Tan Chuan Jin held his very first Meet the People session with residents of the Kampong Ubi Kembangan Ward under his care. Today is quite frenetic. Uh, there were quite, a, I think we have 88 people today. Um, I think also largely because of the last few weeks, uh, we didn't have a meet the people session. So, but um, I think it's been meaningful. I mean, even before this, I was uh, helping out as well with the Dr. Ong and something when he's not here. So I've had some experience running it. Um, but I think it's important to be here. Um, I think sometimes it's difficult to navigate the bureaucracy. So who to talk to, who to approach. And I think our role here really is to help facilitate that. So I think it's a meaningful. I think it's a meaningful responsibility that we need to undertake. Yeah. So what are the most common cases or issues being raised by residents here? Like today, we have uh, some appealing for rental flats. So sometimes because of income, it's a bit difficult to apply for it. Sometimes it's also there's a waiting list. Sometimes it's a single person. They need to be two people at least to rent. So how do they find someone else? Others would be uh, in terms of low income needs. So while we are processing it through Comcare, uh, we provide immediate relief by, for example, providing rice, uh, the necessities, so at least to help the cash flow. Uh, so that's something we can do. Uh, there are also other issues like a PR, like for one uh, family, um, the kids are all Singaporeans, the husband Singaporean, but the wife was a Malaysian. So how to expedite the whole process to become a citizen? So it's quite quite a wide range. There are also fines. Some are fined for speeding, fined for pressing the alarm in MRT wrongly, uh, and some are first-time offenders. So I think we try to appeal on their behalf, especially if they're cash, cash flow issues. So I think waiving even that two hundred over dollars or hundred over dollars, I think would make a big difference to them if possible. Some of these solutions are short term. So you are basically trying to solve it here and now. Um, some, of course, is just a one-off situation. Others will be more structural. So we need to see whether it's a recurrent issue, meaning that uh, you would probably end up seeing them every couple of months. Can we find a much more longer-term solution? So this is something that I need to try and look into for particular cases and see whether long-term solutions are possible. Uh, but at the very least, on our side, is to process it and to provide immediate relief where we can. So I, I think, again, it varies. Uh, some cases, I think, if we discern particular patterns, I think we need to raise it with MCYS or the relevant agency to see whether a much more structural solution can be, uh, can be brought to bear in those cases. And we read from your Facebook that you're looking for a new location to hold MPS sessions. So could you provide an update on that? Um, we will establish, uh, barring any changes, uh, our Meet the People session at Block 35 in Chai Chi itself. Uh, because there's been a slight realignment, because we are now not just looking after Kampong Ubi and Kemangan, but also Chai Chi. And also, as a result of that, we need to reorganize ourselves slightly. So I think in the steady state, we are probably going to shift to Chai Chi to base our Meet the People session there. Uh, but there's something in the works. So I think until further details are finalized, I think we'll make sure that that's being disseminated to the residents both here and in Chai Chi itself. But that's, that's part of the plan right now. So we are, we're trying to operationalize it and work out the details.